Kevin Castro has fished off the coast of Thanet for more than 30 years. Being a fisherman and a family man, Kevin's very survival relies on battling the elements of the sea to make a living. Once he skippered a crew of three, but since the introduction of fishing quotas, Kevin is now the last fisherman of Margate. It's 5.30 in the morning. Kevin is heading out five miles to his fishing ground. My mum and dad had a shop up here, Margate here. I suppose he just got involved with the fishermen, you know. That's how it started. I started doing it properly when I was 15. I was still at school, I just didn't go a lot. Just went fishing on the good days. Yeah, I'm getting a bit old. <laughs> it's hard work. Especially when you got a cold bag out today. Yeah, I'll take on a quote. I can be guaranteed that I can earn a decent wage then. It is there to be caught if you want to put the timing on it. You know, if you've got a crew, it's easier. You see, I'm too busy to worry about being lonely. I'm just all go, innit? <laughs> Kevin's 30 foot boat endurance costs him an average of £40 a shift in fuel, sometimes more depending on the tides. Not good having this much tide. It's going to be uh, a bit difficult. I probably won't get much. We'll we see. See where we all look. That marks the nets. That's where the end we all from. Where the ground is, this is where the fish are. You go too far to the north, they disappear. Too far to the south, they disappear. I mean, you always know they're going to be in this area somewhere, but they might be on the inside edge or the outside. Today, he's shooting three nets and will lay anchor to wait for the fish to be caught. He sees a fisherman from a neighbouring harbour and manoeuvres endurance so he can talk about their catch. Did he bash yesterday? Done. They're getting a load outside the harbour. I know, when I went to Jay's yesterday, it was full up with them. Margate is a tidal harbour, so the sea controls when Kevin works. It, it depends on the tides, doesn't it? You know the tides get later every day. If I do a low water for cod, you have to do a low water for cod, it'll be eight hours anyway to see you out over the low water. It could be half one, half two, half three, half four, any time. Doesn't make any difference. Kevin realises the boat has drifted too far from the net. The current is fast and he could easily lose his valuable catch. He searches the horizon for his spotter flags and powers endurance to the location before hauling them in. Once you've caught your tongue for that mum, that's it. You stop fishing for cod, you go and try and find something else like bass or skate, but there's not enough skate to catch either.
they last long if you gut them, because the guts will turn rotten quicker, so one of the reasons. Who do I think of? Yeah, I actually think of nothing. The only thing I'm thinking of is getting them done. <laughs> Ten hours after he started work in the constantly changing environment, Kevin returns to Margate. From this shift, Kevin has caught a reasonable seven stone fish. He unloads his catch in preparation for distribution to local fishmongers. After securing endurance, he sets off on the journey home in the hope tomorrow will bring a better catch. Due to increasing limitations of fishing quotas, Kevin may eventually have to leave Margate and will be faced with the question of whether he should continue fishing.